So I was over at designcoding.net looking at Tegrul Yazar's awesome code for um, egg crating a shape in Rhino and Grasshopper, and that led me sideways to a product that Autodesk is making called 123D Make. It's part of a suite of tools, including modeling tools, but this one, in particular one um, is, is more about parsing a model and preparing it for 3D modeling, either um, stacking laser cut or, or 3D printing. And it's free. So it's crude, but I think that's forgivable given that it's a free product. So here's the interface, and I really like the simplicity of it. It's uh, childlike in its simplicity. And I'm bringing in a shape that I made, a simple loft shape that I made in Rhino, so we can play with it. I'm just right-clicking uh, to orbit around the, uh, and, and, and zoom scrolling to orbit around the object that I made. So if I come up to the menu and I pick the technique, first one I'm going to do is stacked slices. What's pretty cool about it is it's incredibly quick and again it's a little bit crude but crude and free. So you'll see that the model has been parsed into a kind of topography model and over on the right hand side it's showing me the output. And that output can be spit out as a PDF or as a DXF or as an encapsulated postscript. So if I click on the settings tool then I come down to the bottom of the menu you'll see that it has some options here. So I'm going to change my slice and actually make it 0 0.0625 and hit enter. And fairly quickly it kind of re-jigs topography for thinner slices, which I think is pretty incredibly fast and powerful. Now what's also pretty cool is if I click slice direction over on the left hand side, I've got a kind of cone that I can grab and spin around the model and reorient I think this, this little cone will snap to my model. So you see that's well, it's not exactly snapping, but it's a pretty cool way to kind of develop topography through a shape in different ways uh, other than just a pure horizontal topography, which would be the typical way to do it. And then uh, if I hit Get Plans, you'll see that it's showing me the layout, and you just come down and you pick DXF, PDF, or EPS and export it and it'll spit it out for you to use however. So I'm going to go back to my construction technique and I'm going to pick interlock slices. Now this is a little bit more like designcoding.net where we're egg creating the object. You see it's produced these incredibly fast and over on the right hand side it's giving us the patterns already. So if I click slice direction again I'm going to drag my cone around and reorient the slices you see it's egg crating sideways now, which I think is pretty cool. If I grab this other shape handle, sort of allowing me to just manipulate my slice directions. The curve setting is like an interlock, but it's, it's sort of warping of warping the egg crate. If I come in and I pull some shape handles, and you, you see that you can kind of start crashing the pieces into one another, so you want to be careful about how you use that. You can make an egg crate that's not um, orthogonally arrayed over the model, which is pretty neat. And then I'll go to uh, radial slices, which is kind of the same thing. I'm not quite sure how you would uh, fit this thing together, but I guess, you know, looking at the pieces, it makes more sense than looking at the 3D model. And then folded panels, which I find kind of interesting. Um, if you're into paper craft, this would be a, a pretty cool thing to do because it'll pattern out and, um, and allow you to lay out and fold fold score a model together. The, the strange thing is I input a, a symmetrical model but it's not quite giving a, a symmetrical fold so it's imperfect but uh, you know again it's free. So you know in essence I think this is a pretty cool program and it's worth t downloading to take a look at because I think if you're a, a homemaker with limited resources having access to a free tool like this is a really great thing. Thank <laughs> you.